Hello boys and girls, how are you all today? Welcome to our very first story time on Foodie Fun. We're going to start with Goggles and the Teddy Bear's Picnic. Now I have my own bear here. He is not Goggles, but he has a little something to do with the story, with his little feelers and his black and brown stripes and even his sparkly wings. So let's find out what he has to do with Goggles and the Teddy Bear's Picnic. The story of Goggles and the Teddy Bear's Picnic was written by Jonathan Gunson and the pictures were drawn by the illustrator Richard Robinson. There was once a very small bear who loved flying so much he wore flying goggles everywhere so all his family called him Goggles. But even though he was a very small bear he had a big secret a toy bear plane that could magically change to any size and fly to wherever he liked. Goggles also loved flying with his grandparents, Growlville and Wilma Wright. They built the honey-powered Wright Flyer and were the first bears to fly. Every day they flew to the family beehives in Wildflower Meadow where their friends the honeybees made honey for them. But one evening a huge storm blew up. All the beehives began to tumble down in the wild wind and rain. At dawn, Goggles and his grandparents flew to Wildflower Meadow to make sure their bee friends were safe. But it was so sad. The bee oh sorry, the storm had blown over all the beehives. We're homeless, said Queen Honey Bee. We'll build you a new beehive, said Grandma. It'll be a palace, said Grandpa. It'll be bigger and stronger than ever, said Goggles. All our bear friends will help, said Grandma. Work began right away on building the new Honey Bee Palace. And for years after, little bear cubs would sing the growly growly song of how it was built in just one day. Now, when you buy the book, boys and girls, you'll be able to click on the bear paw to hear Growly Growly Bear song. Goggles brought his hammer and saw. Growly Growly Boo. Grandpa made the palace door. Growly Growly Boo. Sparky Bear did glittery lights and Plumber Bear had colourful pipes. Gra oh, sorry, and all the bears said Growly Growly Boo. Growly Growly Boo is bear talk for this is awesome. Glazier Bear put glass in the towers. Growly Growly Boo. Grandma planted beautiful flowers. Growly Growly Boo. Roofing Bear made a roof in the sky. And Builder Bear put the walls up high. And all the bears said Growly Growly Boo. That's right. It was a race against time. But just as the sun was setting, the Honey Bee Palace was finished. The Queen and her royal family of honeybees all cheered and flew excitedly into their new home. Bzzz. At bedtime, Grandma gave Goggles a big hug. You worked so hard today and the honeybees are still working. They're building Queen Honey Bee's throne room. Oh, can I see it? asked Goggles excitedly. It's hidden inside the palace. Only honeybees are small enough to visit, said Grandma. Goggles woke early the next day. He pushed the secret button in his magical bear plane. It quickly grew to full size and the pilot's door swung open. Welcome aboard, said the bear plane. Where would you like to fly? I would love to see Queen Honey Bee's throne room, said Goggles. Let's shrink to bee size so we can sneak in. Goggles pushed the shrink button and the bear plane shrank to bee size, disguised with honey bee colours. Goggles hit the go button and with a whiz and a whirr, the propeller began to spin. He lifted off for his secret flight to the Honey Bee Palace. My little bear has his own aeroplane right here. And there's the propeller. Can you see it? It doesn't go round and round on its own. I have to spin it for bear. With a whiz and a whirr, he flies off to Honey Bee Palace. Let's see what he finds there, shall we? 
He buzzed downstairs into the kitchen. The bear plant was so small, Grandma and Grandpa didn't even see it. They just smiled because they thought a honeybee was buzzing by. Goggles flew out the window and headed for Wildflower Meadow. Zoom! Goggles pretended he was a bee and joined a buzzing swarm in Wildflower Meadow. They were gathering nectar from the flowers to make honey. Soon, all the bees had full loads and they headed home for their honeybee palace. Goggles followed the honeybees. He flew through the palace door and landed quietly in the throne room. It was the grandest, most beautiful room he'd ever seen. The fragrance of honey filled the air. Suddenly, Goggles was captured by the palace guards. You're not a honeybee, you're a honey spy, they shouted. But Queen Honeybee appeared. Release him, she commanded. It's Goggles. He helped build our beautiful palace. Welcome to my throne room, she said. Now tell me, how can I thank all the lovely bears who built our new home? And right then, Goggles had one of his greatest ideas ever. He whispered it in the Queen's ear. Can you guess what it was? At breakfast the next day, a large golden invitation with a royal seal arrived at the Wright Bears family home. It's from Queen Honey Bee, said Grandma excitedly. Royal Bee Party Invitation. The Wright Bears are invited to a secret party at noon today. Queen Honey Bee, Royal Honey Bee Palace, Wildflower Meadow. Ooh, said Grandpa. I wonder what the secret party is. But Goggles knew. After all, it was his best idea ever. At noon, the bears flew to Wildflower Meadow. Queen Honey Bee welcomed them to a teddy bear's picnic. There was honey for all to say thank you for building the palace. Can you see Queen Honey Bee, boys and girls? You'll have to look really closely. That night, Grandma Wilma whispered wistfully, I wonder what the throne room is like. It must be so beautiful. But Goggles just smiled. It was his secret and it had been a lovely day. The end. Here are some pictures, boys and girls, of Goggles' guide to the beehive. There's a beekeeper harvesting a high frame full of honey. A beehive is a special house where honeybees make honey and raise babies. I have a couple of honey jars here, boys and girls. I'll just show you. This one is one that I got from the supermarket from Manuka Flowers. And this one is one that I got from the farmer's market. It's wild honey. Sometimes if you have a scratchy throat or a nasty cough, you can take a teaspoon of honey and put it in a glass of warm water or warm milk and that will help ease your sore throat or your cough. Um, just put a little bit on your teaspoon and you can see the beautiful golden color dripping into the glass jar. There it is, you just need a little bit like that. And then put your warm water in or your warm milk. Now the author Jonathan Gunson has some other stories for you to read as well. Let's have a look. There's a free book about Mr. Smudge's Thirsty Day. I've read that story and it's a really lovely story. And Goggles Bear has two other adventures for you to read. The Bear Who Dreamed of Flying and Goggles and the Magical Bear Plane. I do hope you enjoy all the bo stories, boys and girls. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.